Hello guys, Crispy here, welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm gonna be testing the RX 570. As you can see here, this is the 8 gigabyte model in PUBG Season 7. Uh, I'm running it with a Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM, and you should be able to achieve the same frames with something like a Ryzen 3 3100 or a Ryzen 5 1600AF, something like that should be enough to not bottleneck the RX 570 here. So we're gonna, of course, be playing at 1080p, as you saw in the thumbnail, probably, uh, yeah, 1920 by 10 1080 is the resolution of choice and I'm gonna be doing very low settings uh, as well as medium, high and ultra settings. I'm gonna skip the low settings over here because I feel like medium actually looks a lot better than low and it gets like similar FPS, at least it gets above 60 FPS all of the time so you, sh you should avoid low settings. If you want the most FPS of course play on very low, if you want a little bit better visual fidelity go for medium, skip low settings because the low settings textures and the shadows and stuff like that, they do look pretty bad in my opinion. And by the way guys, of course we are playing in the Vikendi map because it's the map that they revamped or changed here in this season, season 7 of course. Over here in the plane is where you're gonna get the most FPS at, interestingly enough, because for example if we compare it to like Apex Legends, let's go to Dino Land actually, I want to check it out, never been there. But as I was saying, in Apex Legends in the spaceship and looking at the entire map from above is, there, is where we actually get the lowest FPS at, and uh, over here in PUBG it's quite the opposite, it's down down there that we get the lowest FPS. Anyways, here we go. We might feel a little bit of stuttering here while dropping because everything has to load in, of course. That's why it wasn't really that demanding up there in the plane. This is very, very interesting, guys. I'm gonna go there. Uh, there's only one guy dropping here with us, so that's okay. Oh boy, okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. We're playing first person, by the way, which is a little bit more demanding than third person because the FOV is higher at first person mode. I'm running 107, uh, 103 FOV, actually, which is the maximum here for PUBG. Alright, moving on. Here we go, guys. Let's explore this map over here and start counting our FPS, of course. Almost forgot about that. We got our first stutter of the day as well. Uh, yeah, the stutters are aren't gone still, <laughs> they're still here, they've been here for a long long time, the uh, game is actually installed on an SSD, a 1 terabyte SSD that I bought just for these games that are not really that well optimized, and yeah, we can see by our 1% lows that it's stuttering quite a bit, maybe things are still loading in and they, uh, the the 1% lows will smooth out a little bit, okay, there it is guys, 1% lows are a lot better right now, it was only there because of the, oh god, why did I switch weapons? <laughs> Because we we just landed, you know. So, uh, oh boy, oh boy! I totally forgot this wasn't uh, auto. Yeah, we didn't die right away. That's an achievement, I guess. <laughs> Let's do a painkiller over here. We're fine. Maybe this was the only guy that dropped here with us. Hopefully it was. So now we are free to roam around whatever we want. Let's explore this a little bit. If you want to run this game, by the way, with a high refresh rate monitor, you can definitely do it. It's not really gonna be at 144 plus FPS all of the time, but it's it's good, you know, it's close to that. At least it runs around like 100 to 140 FPS, I think, so that's, that's pretty decent that's pretty smooth as well and of course to achieve these frames if you have something like a Ryzen 3 1200 it might not really be enough to achieve these higher frame rates you will need that 3100 at least but yeah the 3100 is definitely capable of getting these so you're fine in that regard if you don't really want to spend a lot of money in the CPU I really really recommend the 3100 or even the 3300x if you can stretch it a little bit because the 3300x man it just, mwah, it's beautiful, you know, it's a very, very nice budget CPU and I definitely recommend it to everybody that's just gaming. So, that said, guys, I think this is probably enough here for the very low settings. We see that our 1% lows are now very good. Of course, there's still the uh, slight stutter sometimes, as you can see right there. Uh, it's not really that bad, like in previous seasons it was a way worse experience, but uh, yeah, they're still there. I will 
would like to see those fixed. But anyways, yeah, this is what we get right now in Season 7, and it's a playable experience, very, very playable experience. So let's stop it right there, 129 FPS average. If you run a high refresh rate monitor, this is the way to go. Alright, so medium settings are now applied, guys, as you can see right there. 1080p still, obviously, and everything now looks a little bit better. Of course, the, the uh, shadows, the ambient occlusion, the uh, anti-aliasing and the lightning, everything looks pretty much a little bit better. And of course, our FPS are a little bit slower, but still, uh, you can still feel the smoothness compared to like 60 hertz. So it's not bad at all. And we actually need to get inside of the circle, maybe. So yeah, not sure what I'm doing right now. Anyways, it should still stutter a little bit, but I found in PUBG that the higher the settings, the less the game stutters because uh, it gets more and more GPU bound and if it gets more and more GPU bound it stutters a little bit less in this game so yeah you can see that the spikes in the frame time graph aren't as noticeable aren't as big as very low settings for now it's still a smooth experience very playable I recommend it if you want to play with a little bit higher visual fidelity than very low uh, high settings should still be very playable by the way there's a guy there okay all right, guys. Oh my god. He didn't see me, so we might be fine. Okay. Let's get him, guys. Let's get him, guys. Oh, yeah, boy. Get wrecked by the Crispo again. Oh, man. I'm not sure why I'm always calling myself Crispo now, but yeah. Here we go, my friends. We got our second kill. I almost said first because I didn't remember the first one, but yeah, we got our second kill over here. Very, very good. I usually just die instantly whenever I see a guy here in PUBG, so this is very nice, okay? I'm doing very, very well compared to my usual gameplay here, especially because I haven't played this game in a long, long time, and I just got back to it right now because I felt like doing a PUBG video, you know? And what better GPU to test other than the, G uh, the RX 570, actually? Uh, yeah, we got a few stutters there, probably because it was loading these explosions that we're seeing right now in front of us. Is there anybody there? Nope, there isn't. And by the way, guys, I am recording with the Relief software, so uh, we drop FPS by a little bit. Just a couple of FPS. Instead of getting 92, we'd be getting like 94 FPS on average. And yes, I just went there to take my thumbnail. <laughs> the train is an interesting addition here to PUBG because this game always felt so static to me, at least. Like, there's barely any wind. The, the trees don't even move almost. <laughs> so I find it a little bit static this game but anyways we're inside of the circle let's just go prone over here and stop counting at the FPS and change it up to high settings right now all right guys high settings across the board as you can see right there 1080p resolution obviously and now things might get closer to 60 so if you have a 60 Hertz or a 75 Hertz monitor I guess high settings is probably a good option for you and as you can see by the way we're getting a couple of big stutters there probably because again things were still loading on high so I'm just gonna reset that people have been here already okay let's go let's get get out of here please thank you all right where's the circle it's not too far what the heck is that look at that is that the circle guys <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, okay. So yeah, I can definitely feel the FPS getting closer to 60 right now. Like when you get used to a high refresh rate uh, experience and you have a high refresh rate monitor, whenever the FPS gets into that 60 to 70 FPS range, you start noticing a few slowdowns. You know, it's like getting from 60 hertz to like 50 FPS, something like that. At least it feels like that to me. But of course, if you are used to 60 FPS gaming and you're okay with that, and most people are, even me, you know, I could get used to 60 frames per second in a heartbeat. I just, I just have to play like this for like a couple of minutes and I'd be fine because, well, 60 FPS is 60 FPS. It's, it's a good gaming experience, you know? But anyways, guys, 1% lows are at 58 right now, probably because of these stutters or micro stutters or whatever. I don't know because I didn't really see it drop that much. So yeah, what is this? I don't want it This is very very dark right there guys. Okay, let's keep on moving here So everything has been very smooth so far still on high settings. So this is still a 
very good option if you want to play with the high settings obviously <laughs> like i think this season is a little bit better optimized actually especially in this map because this map was the most demanding map back in like season four or season five whatever but now they optimized it it's finally running well on par with the others i think so it's it's a finally a good experience here even on high settings with the rx 570 this gpu guys for the price it's a complete beast in my opinion you, you can get these for like 120 140 dollars depending on whether you get the 4 gig model or the 8 gig model and i got the 8 gig model of course and if you want to play on high settings i highly recommend the 8 gig model as well because as you can see our vram utilization is getting up there into like the 4.6 gigabyte mark so uh, if you had the 4 gigabyte model of this card you might see a couple of more stutters here and there it will still be playable of course on high settings but it will just stutter a little bit more. Oh boy, okay, okay, okay. Holy crap, that's really, really close, guys. Uh, I just want to throw a grenade or something. How do you throw grenades now? Oh my god, he's so close. Oh, there he is. Nice, we got another one. Are there bots in this game now, guys? Or was the guy just looting another guy there? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, there's only one death box here. So let's go. Uh, level three. Yes, please. Oh my god. Okay. All right. I wish I could have had this experience back when the game came out and I actually played this for a long, long time. What the heck? <laughs> Because I played this game for like 600 hours in the first year when it came out, like in 2017, and it was just a horrible experience with like 40 to 60 FPS most of the time, and yeah, you can now get with the mid-range card way higher FPS than back then, so this is, it has come a long way, don't get me wrong, I, I still mock it a little bit because of the stuttering issues, and the optimization is not the best, but still, it has come a long way, so let's stop it right there, 77 FPS on average and 1% lows of 59, so if you want to get 60 plus FPS at all times, and still have some good visuals, I guess high settings is the way to go. So right now, ultra settings, and now we should be seeing our FPS dropping from 60. It's already very, very close to 60. It's still playable, you know, PUBG isn't a game where you really, really need 60 FPS plus all of the time. So uh, it's fine. Can we actually get into it? Guys, oh my god, nope, we can't. Okay, <laughs> holy crap. We're actually inside of the circle, in the middle of the circle. Oh my god, please don't. Please not now. It seems like nobody likes Dinoland because nobody dropped here with me. <laughs> this is probably not a very popular place to drop, guys. But that's okay. Let's just see the animals or the dinosaurs, actually. Which are animals, I think, maybe. Let's start counting the FPS, guys. So now that we are in the ground, we can see it's above 60 FPS. Very good. And look at that guy. That's a dodo, right? No, maybe not. I don't know. Probably not, guys. It's too big to be a dodo. Uh, at least from what I've seen in Ark Survival <laughs> Evolved. That's a Triceratops, guys. Triceratops or whatever. Oh, yeah, guys. That's the T-Rex. Look at that. That's beautiful. There's another one here. And I will... Oh, my God. That's, that's awesome. Oh, my gosh. I love this map right now, guys. <laughs> This is so awesome! Look at this! Do we actually slide? Oh man, it would be great if we could slide here. Please, PUBG, just do it! Just let us slide there! That would be amazing! There's another T-Rex right there. Oh man, okay. Where should I take my thumbnail, guys? There it is! That's the thumbnail right there! Beautiful stuff! I love this one so much. Oh my god, look at that, guys. Yeah, FPS in the 40s sometimes, now that there's a ton of vegetation right here. Yeah, vegetation is what kills FPS, not really the buildings and stuff like that. So, you actually end up getting less FPS here in the middle of nowhere than inside of buildings and stuff like that. So, uh, my god, I'm not sure what to do. Drink? Yes, let's just drink, whatever. Why the heck not? We're gonna die anyways, so a little bit of sugar won't do anything. Oh my god. God, where is he? I can't even see him, guys. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, boy, get wrecked. <laughs> There's another one. What? There's the train going off. Can't really get into. 
Well, okay then. <laughs> oh, 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 there's another one there, guys. It's now, I will die now. Okay, there were two of them, actually. So that's why we died, not because we missed everything there. But you know what? Ultra settings still perfectly playable. A little bit smoother than high or medium with less stuttering. Uh, our rooms and lows are still great at the mid 40s. So if you have a 60 hertz monitor and you don't mind playing with lower than 60 FPS sometimes. And in PUBG, you don't really need those 60 plus. I, I say like 40 plus is absolutely what you need in PUBG. Of course, it's good if you can get 60 plus and i recommend you to play on high settings if you want to get 60 plus instead of ultra but if you want to play on ultra it's there it's playable and the 570 did a fantastic job so thank you so much for watching guys hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will hopefully see you in the next one and as always guys i love you all Bye bye